One scenario in which mesh shaders can be extremely useful is when you want to render a large number of objects with different meshes. In my use case, particles are always moving around and sometimes they are reordered for cache coherence, so it is hard to batch them together based on mesh without additional overhead. Also, if I want a lot of geometric detail up close, I have to make the trade-off and reduce triangle count for far away particles. Here, the vertex shader is replaced with an amplification and mesh shader. You can directly launch just mesh shaders, but they are most effective when working in conjunction with the amplification shader. Here, the amplification shader performs frustum culling for each particle and determines the LOD mesh to use. Thanks to this, the GPU can know the optimal number of mesh shader threads to launch, so no work is wasted. Thanks for watching Mesh Shader Minute.